Hi there, I'll be showing how to use QuizScan to update your product inventory with a barcode scanner. Yes, you heard it right, barcode scanner. To do this, you just need to connect your barcode scanner to your computer or laptop. No configuration is required for this process. Next up, go to QuizScan. You can just get it from the Shopify app store. Once you are done with that, you are ready to use quick scan. Before you start doing anything, you need to update your store, which allows quick scan to see inventories in your store. Next, you can choose one of the four functions available in the quick scan, which I will explain in more details in the video. Alright, now we will go to our store. Okay, in our store, we have like these four products, which is Hershey's, Jacobs, and London Cheese Potato Crisps. All of them have five in stock. Okay, what we're gonna do now is using the first function, which is the increment. When we click on that, we can choose whichever quantity that we want to add to the quantity in the store. All right. So before you start scanning any barcode, make sure you click on the input field. The first product will be potato crisp. Now wait. wait. Okay. Now there you go, potato crisp. And the new quantity is 8. Status success. Now, if you go check on your product store, you can see the inventory is now 8. Now, to the second is the decrement, which allows you to subtract from the current quantity of the product. Same step, you need to put on the quantity that you want to put, let's say for example 2, and then click on the input field before you start scanning. And then take some time. All right, and you can see here the new quantity is three. All right, for the third op function is the read only, which is pretty obvious, which allows you to only see the product detail. All right, for example, we take this Jacobs, this new product, and have this. Before that, don't forget to click on the field. It gives us the detail of the product with, with the barcode scanner and the SKU and also the title, and also with the quantity. The final function will be the direct update, which overrides the quantity of the product installed with the new quantity you enter. Okay, so we just put 8 here, and don't forget to click the info field. And then we see it's 8 from 5, from previously was 5, we directly updated to 8 okay now you can see the, the previous transaction you can also go to the settings and change whether to update product using a barcode or a SKU you can also choose the default update method to be one of these and just click submit so whenever you open quick scan this will be the default that will be all Thank you for watching. Hope you will enjoy using QuickScan.